back on Stockport Road, Levensham to visit another hidden gem this week, Red Cherry, the king of the kebab. We've come to try the Red Cherry Massive, which is a big tray slash box full of succulent meats, chips and salad. Beautiful interior inside the place. Will the food match up though? We'll find out. They even show the football. So you can order a fat munch and still watch your favourite team. I love this place already. All the meats are fresh, cooked right in front of you. They won't start cooking your food until you place the order. So there can be a bit of a wait sometimes because it's very popular and very busy. But believe me, it's worth the wait. Look at that. Have you ever seen a bigger seat kebab than that? It's like when I look down my pants, mate. Massive. So here we have the famous homemade doner, which is dipped in their homemade spicy sauce, dripping. Wow. Being topped with the homemade chili and yogurt sauce, everything is homemade here and fresh ingredients. Big up man like Shanky, he's not camera shy at all and to be honest I don't blame him, he's been running this establishment for nearly 40 years. Trying the Donna for the first time and I was not disappointed, I already knew this was the best Donna I've ever tasted, donkey dick. You know what, this seat kebab with the spiciest seat kebab I've ever had, it was well nice. Gobbled the old thing like a slut in Staley Bridge on a Friday night. Fresh Nan, again, made to order. It was the size of the whole box. We all know Fresh Nan turns a good kebab into a great kebab. Nice, crispy, but soft in the middle. Lovely. The chicken pieces, these are what rolled me off. They was massive, but they were so juicy, so tender, so flavoursome. Just couldn't get enough, mate. Was worth the food coma today, I'm telling you now. Kabida, who doesn't love a Kabida? And these boys know how to make a good one. Again, deep throated the thing straight up. The thing was amazing. Wow, so flavourful. Halfway through it, I did get some help from some lads in the shop. Could not finish that on my own. It could definitely feed to this box. Even three or four, mate. It's massive. Spotted this finger beauty to help me. They got the Rubicon mango every time. Inside. Finally, we finished it off. And I can tell you now it is the best box by far in Manchester. Get down here, guys. 